Ladies, let me ask you something. What you would do if you find out that your daughter be on OnlyFans, falling with herself, doing all that, showing herself naked and all that, and the man you lay next to every night that's supposed to be her stepfather, supposed to be her guidance, supposed to be her protector, is her number one secret supporter on the lower you never knew. Well, this is just what happened in a household. A OnlyFans mother discovered that her stepfather was her top subscriber and she ruined her mom's marriage. The OnlyFans model said she had a random man sending her paid custom requests. He wanted her to do some freakish shit. He wanted her to do different positions. He wanted her to do some wild things. He sent her over $2,000 in Australian money within two months. Soon after, the man started a TikTok with the same profile name that he used on OnlyFans. She imported her contact list from her phone and discovered it was her stepfather. The man started messaging her private messages. So one day when she picked up on the man, she messaged him, you better tell her before me and my sister tell her. He said, tell who what? I don't know what you talking about. He was acting dumb still. She said, you better tell my mama what's going on before I tell her what's going on in the DM. He immediately text her phone and said, we need to talk. We need to talk. She called her mama and started telling her mama and they set the man up. Had the man on a three-way call and he didn't even know the mama was on the phone. And he admitted to doing everything the daughter said he was doing. She then blasted him all over TikTok and ruined her mother's marriage with the estranged man. Now, let me ask you something. Do y'all fault her for going public with that and embarrassing her mama like that? Or do y'all think that he was just a proud stepfather that was just trying to support his stepdaughter career? Do y'all think he a creep or a predator? Do y'all think she should alert authorities on what's going on? This is a grown woman now. Do y'all think Jerry Springer need to come back alive and got them do a segment on this family? But here's what I think. I think y'all women need to stop bringing randoms around your kids. Bro. I think these men be sick in the head and have criminal history that women never discover till they become the victim. Bucking I naked. think y'all need to be very cautious with your daughter around men, man, and ask your daughter questions just to see if she's comfortable around these dudes that you call yourself in love with. You don't want to be on the Murray Pope show with your 22 year old daughter fighting over your 46 year old man turning 47. Or even worse, you don't want to be in the police department making a report about a man fondling with your children. You can't do that. You too old for that. You need better judgment with that. But nowadays, people know how to tuck their secret fantasies inside them until they get you falling in love with them. They got you up under their spell and now you in hell. Think about what I'm saying. Y'all women got to be very cautious, man. Don't just bring anybody by your kid. You got forever in the day to look for a man, baby. You ain't got to rush to bring a man around your kid. And men, don't be bringing every woman around your daughter. Y'all see what's going on with these teachers and these students and shit like that, man. Y'all see what's going on with this man subscribing to his stepdaughter. He probably changed her diaper. You don't know how long that man been with this woman. And to secretly have this in the back of your mind, watching your stepdaughter like that. This ain't my child. I can do it. You got to be sick in the head. Sounds about white. Think about what I'm saying. Y'all comment below and let me know what you feel. Y'all make sure y'all share this video, man, because somebody going through this in their household right now, man, and they don't know what to do. They don't want to lose their man, and they don't want to lose their daughter, but they just got them playing the blind eye and acting like they don't see what's going on and right there in your face. and written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. It's right there. But they playing dumb because they don't want to lose that man. They so deep in love that they got them under this man's spell that they'd rather live through hell than go through hell without that man there. Think about what I'm saying. Y'all comment below and let me know how you feel. Y'all make sure y'all like this video. Y'all make sure y'all shout this video, baby. We the business.